So continuing on from where we left off, I'm going to add two new features to this to-do list. So the first one is when I select a box, I want the task to have a strike through and also be grayed out. So to start off, just in case you don't know how to add checkboxes, all you need to do is highlight the rows you want and then click on insert up here and then select checkbox. So now when you select a checkbox, the value of it will be true. But when it's unselected, the value is false. So to add the first feature, what we want to do is use conditional formatting. So first highlight all the rows and press Control shift down arrow key, then go to format and click on conditional formatting. So now what we want to do is click on custom formula, press equals, we will take the first cell here which is A4, so type in A4, when it equals true, we want something to happen to it. So right now, it's only highlighting the first column. That's because we need to put a dollar sign in from the letter. So now it highlights the entire column. So we want there to be a strike through and we also want it to be grayed out. So I'm going to add a gray color here. I'm going to change the font to make it slightly lighter so it's not so obvious. So now when I close this, now you can see that when I select a task, it will have a strike through and it will be grayed out. Then for the next feature, I want to have something like this that says like 2 out of 7 completed. To do this, first we need to get the first number. So the first number shows how many tasks are completed. So for that, we're going to use the formula count if. Basically, what you input to this formula is the range. So the range is the checkboxes. Next, we need the criteria. So when it is true, it will count. And now it shows up that there are two selected. If I change this and select more, it'll show that there are more selected. So next we need to add a slash symbol. Just use and, and I want to add a slash. So now we got the slash symbol. So next we want to get the number of tasks that are in this column. So for that, we're going to press the and button, use the function count a, which stands for count all. So we're going to highlight this column. So what this function will do is that it will count the number of cells that have any value inside this range. So now we're going to press enter. So now it says three out of seven, four out of seven. Then if I want to add a task here, it will show up that it increases. And then now I want to add the completed word. So for that, I just type in and then space completed, press enter. Then now I have 5 out of 7 completed and you can add italics to it or you can bold it. I'm just going to leave it how it is like right now. So now when I complete my task, I can see how many I've completed and how many I have left to complete. And if this video has helped you out in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down any suggestions you have you want to see. And see you guys in the next one.